This video discusses what balloon to use uh, when you get a wire down uh, through an occlusion. And so in this case, uh, we're using uh, the KA2 catheter here. This is that five French hydrophilic angled braided catheter. And we're able to use that in this case to get a, a V18 control wire uh, through the occlusion. Um, and you can see now we have the V18 control wire and we're exchanging it from an 018 wire to an 035 wire. Um, and over that wire we're putting a balloon uh, that um, we're having great difficulty getting the balloon to advance uh, over the 018 over the 035 wire. Um, and so in this situation, we would have probably been better off uh, to put a balloon over the 018 wire because the lumen of the balloon uh, will ultimately determine the minimum outside diameter. So in short, we would have, if we had left the 018 wire down and then selected a balloon that would go over an 018 wire instead of putting down the Amplatz 035 wire, we would have had an easier time uh, <clears throat> getting, the, getting the balloon through the occlusion. And so we started with this four millimeter balloon and then upsized uh, to a nine millimeter balloon once we had predilated it. Uh, and so in the end, this would have been uh, better if instead of upsizing from an 018 to an 035, if we had selected a balloon that went over the 018 wire to start with. And the balloon that I find useful for this is the Sterling balloon uh, by Boston Scientific. And again, it comes in a six millimeter by four centimeter configuration. Um, and would have been a better choice. So learning as we dilate. Thank you.